Hello, today we'll be going over power grades in DaVinci Resolve and how power grades can speed up your workflow when it comes to color grading. So let's get into it. So we've just finished this project in DaVinci Resolve and we're quite happy with the grade that we've been able to achieve with this clip. Now, creating this grade may have taken some time. Say in the future, we're editing a different project and we remember this grade that we did and we're like, wait, oh man, I wish I could do that exact grade on this image or a very similar grade and you can't remember exactly how you got there. Well, this is where power grades come in handy. You don't actually have to have that clip to copy the exact node tree structure and the exact adjustments you made onto that new clip. What we use is something called power grades. Now the difference between power grades and LUTs is that LUTs are very much baked in. Whatever LUT you apply, there is not much adjustability for, for that LUT, apart from extra nodes that you can create afterwards to further tweak it. But with power grades, you're able to adjust each individual node and the benefit of using power grades, you're able to have color masks and power windows that then you're able to manipulate and adjust and tweak to fit a new clip, if that makes sense. Let me show you how to save a node tree. So saving a node tree essentially means saving, creating a power grade. We have this node tree and we really like this look. So what you're gonna do is go to gallery. You can create folders, but we're just gonna go to power grade one. This should already be there. And if you right click on the actual image, you can press grab still. Now, once you've selected grab still, you'll see this image that has popped up in this window here. So that essentially you've saved this node tree structure. You've saved a power grade. The technicalities of the wordings may not be correct, but it works and it's sped up our workflow so much. Because once you create a library of different types of power grades for different types of LUTs, it's very similar to LUTs and presets or whatever. You can, whenever you're starting a new project, sooner or later, every time you start a new project, you may want to be creating a similar look to what you did last time or to a from a different project, if that makes any sense. So what we're gonna do, we've saved this grade, we've saved this power grade. So this is the clip that we have. This was the before and this was the after of the grade. It's a very simple, quick grade. So a few months later, you're grading this clip. Now you remember to yourself, oh, we graded that really cool church garden clip. Like a few months ago, I'd love to recreate that kind of look for this image but you can't exactly remember how you did it. So this is where power grades and LUTs come in useful. So now you can apply that LUT that you created in the past to this image. So if I go to gallery, you'll see if I go to power grade one, you'll have this LUT from previous. So now if I double click this, it's now applied that node tree and you can get rid of this initial node. So now you have the general look of that previous clip that we first edited. However, it's a bit mushy and it's a bit messy. So we're gonna fix that. So what you're going to do first is we're obviously going to come over to this color mask. So we're going to come over to this color masking node and we're going to go to the qualifier and we're going to select this piece of grass right here. Now you can see all the grass is now selected. And that was done a lot quicker than having to recreate the whole node tree and, you know, desaturate and change the colors and all of that. So that was just way more quicker and you could just leave it there. But say you was like, hmm, maybe this grade doesn't entirely work for this actual image. You just wanted to adjust it a little bit. You wanted the grass to not be so desaturated. You can now come into the saturation down here and you can just increase that saturation. Say you didn't want it as blue, you can go to the hue and you can push that towards the yellows. Now you've got more of an autumn kind of look. So in just a couple of clicks, now you've got that overall look. So instead of having to create a whole node tree again and thinking exactly how you'd want to recreate that look, you can now recreate that look and with a few adjustments just to fix any colors or any looks to that specific image, any masking or any power windows. Now you have this very cute cow who's now graded in the way that you wanted it to be graded. However, one more awesome thing with power grades is that you can just save a node tree without any grades applied to it. So say with this cow clip, we just make a quick node tree. We just um, we just create this. It's a very standard node tree structure. Um, and then you can name everything. Say you're grading clips regularly and you found that you're creating a very similar node tree structure all the time. So what you can do is save this as a power grade in itself. So if you go to gallery um, and then you right click on your image and you press grab still, now you have this power grade saved. So now say we import another clip, such as this clip, and now we go to the gallery and now we right click and we press apply grade. We've now got this whole node tree structure applied without any grades to it for us to start working. And that will save us time 
when we're actually grading, especially with longer projects and projects where clips are not necessarily going to be edited in the same fashion. I hope that was helpful. It's very much sped up our workflow at Meliul. So now we've got this whole gallery of power grades of different types of LUX that we can now apply to future projects where we need a similar LUX to that. And that's just going to speed up your workflow so much more. I hope we explained that clearly. We're still quite new to this whole tutorial thing, but thank you. Thank you for watching.